Madam Speaker, when people are sick or their kids are unwell, they are having to choose between their health and a paycheck as they decide if they can pay their bills and afford food. This harms their well-being and helps viruses spread. We can do better. Every and we're I recognize the member for Contramar. Madam Speaker, when people are sick or their kids are unwell, they are having to choose between their health and a paycheck as they decide if they can pay their bills and afford food. This harms their well-being and helps viruses spread. We can do better. Every worker deserves paid sick days, and it's long overdue. The leader of the Green Party tabled a paid sick leave bill that was studied in committee and by government before the election. The next step is for the Holt government to bring legislation to guarantee paid sick days for all New Brunswick workers. This is important policy for workers and also for public health, as it would reduce strain on our health care system if people didn't spread their illness while at work. Will the Minister of Post-Secondary Education, Training and Labour bring a bill to amend the Employment Standards Act to guarantee all New Brunswick workers the right to paid sick leave? I recognize the Minister responsible for post-secondary education, training and labour. Madam Speaker, and thank you very much for the question, member opposite. I know that this has been an issue, and a particular issue for your party, and that it has been studied, and that there has been a report tabled um, that I have not had the chance to read in full, but I understand in the result, there was no consensus as to how to deal with sick leave. We do understand that it's an issue, and we're prepared to discuss it um, to see whether there are some compromises that can be made, because it is, an, it is an awful situation. However, other provinces have not mandated sick leave, so we would be setting a precedent. So we would need to fully understand how we should implement this and what we should implement. Thank you very much. I recognize the member for John Carmar. So, Madam Speaker, um, I am surprised to hear that the minister is, um, is a bit unsure about what her government wants to do around paid sick leave for New Brunswick workers, because in June, when the previous government finally released their report on the Green Party leader's paid sick leave bill, the Liberal critic at the time said that if Liberals won the election, they'd put some form of paid sick leave into law, although they hadn't decided on the right number of days yet. And this has already been studied by a legislative committee and through government stakeholder consultations. And though there wasn't consensus on every detail, it was clear there was a need for a paid sick leave. There are other provinces that have mandated paid sick leave. PEI, British Columbia, Quebec already have paid sick leave. So, once again, will the minister commit to giving all New Brunswick workers access to paid sick leave? I recognize the minister, response, um, the minister for post-secondary education, training and labour. Madam Speaker, and thank you, member opposite. Um, you have mentioned the only three provinces that have paid sick leave. No other province does. However, as I indicated, we would be happy to discuss the appropriate methodology with you and see whether there is um, a way forward on this very serious issue. Thank you. I recognize the member for Tantramar. I would be glad to discuss this with the minister and to make sure that paid sick leave is brought in for New Brunswick workers. I'm going to move on to unpaid sick leave. Alors, Madame la Présidente, tomber malade ne doit pas conduire à tout perdre. Le stress financier est un lourd fardeau à porter en plus d'une maladie. En 2022, le gouvernement fédéral a prolongé l'admissibilité aux prestations de maladie de l'assurance emploi jusqu'à 26 semaines. Cependant, les travailleurs du Nouveau-Brunswick n'ont droit qu'à cinq jours de congés non rémunérés avec protection de l'emploi. Il faut prolonger le congé avec protection de l'emploi à 26 semaines. La ministre de l'Éducation postsecondaire, de la Formation et du Travail mettra-t-elle en œuvre cette protection de l'emploi pour les travailleurs et travailleuses qui tombent malades? 
Je reconnais la ministre de l'Éducation pour secondaire, la formation et du travail. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm sorry, I did not. I, I'm unilingual anglophone, for which I apologize. Um, but I, I didn't understand the question. The member opposite, if I took that under advisement, I'm provided an answer. Thank you, Madam Minister. I recognize uh, the member 